This summer, I'm sure you don't have to be reminded, has been a harsh one. And while we've experienced a little relief lately, it might be a little too late for some plants suffering from the extreme heat. Cakes Jordan Shefty is here now. And Jordan, what do you have there? <laughs> Mike like and Janelle, this is the pl hanging oh. plant from my balcony at my apartment. Oh Obviously, I could not quite keep up with the watering this year. No green thumb here, <laughs> but for one place in town, their business revolves around keeping the gardens green, a task that hasn't been easy this summer. The summer heat is taking its toll. Plants are dying. Grass is turning brown. It's just a struggle to keep things alive. A lot of brown and I don't know. It's a lot of, a lot of work in the heat to keep stuff alive. We've just been watering deep and like twice a week and just hoping they'll hang on a little bit. But enter Botanica and it's almost like stepping into a whole nother world. It's refreshing, just refreshing. And the birds and the butterflies are out, the bees. It's just a great place. The 11 acres on the property are thriving, but keeping up with Mother Nature hasn't been easy. The extreme heat and the length of no water has just caused extra hours of watering and extra hours of worrying about our poor baby plants. We just want them to all look great all the time. While all that watering has created an oasis of sorts, it doesn't come without a cost. The water bills have been way worse than normal. And so that's one of those things we always try to conserve as much as possible because we know that's important. But we've got to keep the plants alive because replacing them would be more expensive than the water bill. Now the water's not the only extra expense that comes along with the heat. They also have to hire additional workers, keep up with maintenance on the irrigation systems, and replace any plants that haven't fared so well in the heat. They're all costs that add up. It is an expense that we didn't budget for. We budget for our basic costs. But all the effort hasn't gone unnoticed by visitors. I commented to a friend last week that I'm impressed with how green and lush everything looks in the heat of August. While Botanica has been able to keep up with the extreme temps so far, their funds are decreasing. They say that 88% of their operating budget is funded by donors, so now they're asking for some help. If you'd like to make a donation to Botanica, we will have information posted on our website, cake.com. Good luck okay. with your next plant, Jordan. Hey, <laughs> Jordan. I might need it.